to be sucking. the source of the Blisk's radiation. Demolish the Blisk Cosmonaut Alliance, and basically provoked an all-out war around Solaris. I say it's time we take this fight to the Krabbies themselves. I think you're right. Well, why in the hell You do? I do. And I even have an ace up our sleeve to destroy the Blisk once and for... What the hell is that? Oh no! That's the launch sequence alert! The Blisk are launching their weapon! Well, maybe it's not so bad. Dream on! Those sadists are incapable of anything less than full-scale annihilation! Holy crap! All this work, hours of gameplay, and you're telling me we failed! I'm afraid so, Crypto. Once it's started, there's no way to stop it. Oh, we're doomed! We'll never get that pure DNA back to the home world now! Our race will clone itself right into the genetic trash bin of history! Oh, tragedy! Unless... Unless... If we overload the laser guidance system, the weapon might veer off target! Laser guidance system? What laser guidance system? The dishes, Crypto! Overload the dishes! Do the dishes, protect the Earth, save the Furon DNA. Got it. Man, whatever happened to destroying all humans? Let this be a lesson to you, Crypto. The best laid plans can be derailed by an unexpected case of the crabs! Now go! Crypto! That energy door is blocking your way to the radar array. You'll have to find a way to shut it down. I expect you can think of something. Right, that's bad. You got it. No, no. There's no 
use for it. We're just going to have to take the risk. Do it, Pando. Cross the beam. Cross them for all your worth! You ask for it. Cryptos Peridium, once again you showed unexpected pluck. You've stopped my weapon launching. Pity, really. We had such glorious renovation plans for that pathetic little planet. But no matter. <laughs> You've nearly staved off the inevitable. You can't fight progress, Furon. I'm gonna probe you so hard, you're gonna be wearing diapers for a month. I already take a weekly high colonic, but thank you for the offer. On the other hand, I wonder, would you be so bold if you knew our devilish master plan? Get this through your monkey brain, Millenkov. We own that planet. And there's not a damn thing that you or your rusky pals can do about it. Such bluster, such overconfidence, <laughs> yet still you can't see the big picture. I wonder, would you feel so arrogant if you knew the full scope of our fiendish master plan? You two-bit tin horn petty tyrant, I fart bigger than you. You think just because you can keep a few depressed peasants in line, you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I'm the king of the world! The master of disaster! The baddest dude in the whole damn town! King Kong ain't got nothing on me! King Kong died, Cryptosporidium. I wonder, would you be so sure of yourself if you knew her? Fiendish master plan! Jeez, you guys just gotta have your monologues, don't you? Okay, I give. What's your damn master plan? Let me guess, you and the Blisk are gonna spread those spores and enslave humanity. Commies and crabbies, a match made in heaven. <laughs> Small minds, no imagination. It's nothing so mundane. We don't give a damn about humanity, Cryptosporidium. What we want from Earth is the same thing you want. Survival. So the Krabbies want a new crib. What's wrong with Mars? Mars is a desert. An acid wasteland. You fool on so to that. But Earth... Earth is three-fifths water. All it lacks is massive radioactivity to become a new Eden, a new radiated ocean paradise for Blisk! But what about the Russians? Your people can't live in that. <laughs> My people? <laughs> oh, you really aren't very bright, are you? Why do you think we've waged Cold War, encouraged the buildup of nuclear arms? Good God, what sane human would pursue such obvious suicide? 1908, Blisk worship crashes. 1917, October Revolution. Do the mad! You, of all creatures, should know. Aliens walk among us. Da? You're not suggesting... Suggesting? I'm telling you. Lenin, Stalin... Khrushchev! Trotsky? 
please. Don't be ridiculous. It helped that Russian is so close to Bliskish. No coincidence, of course. The Furans are the only race who ever used Earth for sure live. Face it, Kratos Boridion. You Furans have been out schemed. The history of the Soviet Union is the history of Blisk on Earth. The loss of our spores is a blow, but in the end it makes no difference. Soon, Earth will be ours. No more humans, no more food or DNA. And there's not a goddamn thing you can do about it. Lestrovia Cryptosporidium. Tell me about that ace up your sleeve you mentioned. Oculus Loins, I'd almost forgotten! Crypto, you're a genius! Using Pox Lab, I've created a new virus that will infect and kill the Blisk. Catchy. Let's hope so. I've arranged for it to be delivered to the moon by a new courier company. Oh, what's the name? The North American Shipping Association. Anyway, everyone calls them... NASA. You wouldn't believe the cost of shipping to developing galaxies. I should mention, though, there have been some... Uh, complications. Okay, I'll buy. What kind of complications? The delivery men are refusing to land without clearance from their boss. A fellow called Houston. They're just hovering there waiting for orders. And let me guess, we're gonna give them those orders, right? Exactly. Yeah, I'm a regular rich little. Okay, let's get contagious. We are being sick and tired of the scientists bitching and moaning. Com tower is being down, signal is being too slow, yada yada yada. This triple signal system crap is being for birds. These sprouting paws are a blight of my creation. They are way gnarly in my eyes. Destroy them at once!
Fantastic! Landing zone activated!
One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That's it? What? One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind? Seven months and that's the best you could come up with? But you didn't like it? No, I didn't like it. It's crap. Where'd you find it? On a cereal box? I thought it sounded profound. Profound? You wouldn't know profound if it hit you over the head with a Camus novel. You think Merv Griffin's a deep thinker. Listen, mister, I'm getting a little tired of your lip. Oh, yeah, Commander Big Shot? What are you gonna do about it? Pull the plug on this mission, that's one. Sorry, Houston, but I can't work another second with this jackass. Get in the car, get in the car. All wrong.